Today is March 11th, Saturday in the year 2000, and the city of La Mesa is about to host the West La Mesa Summit, a dialogue with citizens. The agenda for the West La Mesa Summit included three rounds of questions for the participants to discuss. As the participants gathered, some had comments on why they were attending this event. I'm just interested in what uh, La Mesa is up to and what, what, the, uh, what the plan is going to be. I'd like to see a few more parks in our neighborhood, and there's some vacant areas that could be developed that way. Looking forward to El Cajon Boulevard being one of the beautiful spots of La Mesa. Well, we've been having a collaborative um, kind of started by our school called La Mesa West, and I would really like to uh, see what other citizens think about West La Mesa um, in addition to our collaborative. Hear the voice of the people that live here and what they want to do in this area. I'm in responsible for building the Ray and Joan Croc Community Center, and it borders on La Mesa, so we feel that uh, in planning, uh, probably the Ray and Joan Croc Community Center will play a role in all of the planning. I want to get involved in the planning process. La Mesa has been good to us, our affordable housing park, and anything I can do to help uh, advance the planning process from my perspective, uh, I'm sure I welcome the chance to do so. Um, I got an invitation and just to see what they're going to be talking about today. I think that, uh, number one, we need to know what San Diego has plans for their city as it's going to match up to ours. I think we need to establish identification of La Mesa as a uh, city itself and what it's going to do make it more attractive to everybody. We need identity. Lack of street lighting. It's very, very dark. It, my customers are mostly older folks and they, they're reluctant to come out in the evenings because that area, this, this kind of scares them, although I, I've seen in the last year that I've been there that it's really a nice area. Our parks are the less maintained. The roads have recently been maintained, but there's a lot of things that needs that the city could be doing that could improve our area. I have a, a, a large financial investment that uh, and a large investment of time in some properties in West La Mesa and I'm dedicated to getting them to be the best properties they can be. I'm mainly concerned about the El Cajon Boulevard revitalization project and I want to make sure that uh, the city council is aware of besides the frontage street of Elkhorn Boulevard that people drive by, but also uh, what's behind it. Well, I'm here because I'm concerned with the uh, crime situation in the El Cajon Boulevard area. Uh, this is really um, impacting so many of the elderly, the handicapped that are there. City manager Dave Ware gave the group some background on the La Mesa summit and why it was being held, and then explained the day's format. And we want to make sure this is a dialogue, a two-way communication on key issues and opportunities. Rachel Hurst from the La Mesa Community Development Department posed the questions for the first round of discussions. Number one, what are the major assets of living and or working in West La Mesa, and why do I want to live or work here? Number two, what has been done well in West La Mesa during the last two years? And number three, what are the major forces that will shape West La Mesa's future for the next five to ten years? But not only accessibility out of La Mesa, but just inside the community itself, there are a multitude of ways to get from where I am at school to the district office, over to Parkway Middle School. I mean, and I never had a traffic problem in any of La Mesa. I don't know about you guys, but I think most of our neighborhoods are really friendly. You see walkers all over the place. You see families going up and down the street. The West La Mesa Summit continued into round two as Community Development Director Dave Witt introduced the next group of questions. Question four. In 2005 to 2010, success for West La Mesa means... Question five. West La Mesa needs to avoid becoming... Question six. What are the major challenges on the horizon for West La Mesa? More lights, at, more bright at night. The home residential rehab program that the city has uh, got going, how is it going? What's the success rate there? How many people are utilizing it? I think just to have a tighter community, just to have everybody come together. The final round of questions was presented by La Mesa Fire Chief Doug Matter. Question seven. During the next two years, what are the key issues that need to be addressed by the mayor and city council? Question eight. What are the opportunities for the city of La Mesa, a venture or a program? And number nine. 
What is a crazy idea for accomplishing a goal by 2005? Transportation issues are definitely going to be a major one because there are transportation issues already even on the surface streets as far as um, the trucking that goes on, commercial traffic versus, you know, residential traffic. That could be a benefit if you live close to SDSU. It's a benefit to live here because it's close to that without being on top of it. After the final round had been completed, Fire Chief Doug Matter invited one representative from each table to come up and run down the results of their group's discussions. For our master plan, we, our first target is we want to see developed a master plan that will address the uh, issues of the underground utilities, getting them buried underneath. When will we see this start happening in our neighborhoods? We want to see a master plan for upgrading the infrastructure of our sewers, roads, and street lighting. We would like to see an increase of parks being put into the neighborhoods. Um, we'd also like to see an um, issue brought forth of police street uh, storefronts. We want mobile police units. to. So if you've got a high crime area, you've got somebody that's come up, you can get them into that area to address that issue right away. Uh, one of the issues that we talked about was full enforcement of existing codes uh, and this kind of goes along the lines with the revitalization of Elkhorn Boulevard and the respect of business property to residential property. Um, development, taking advantage of the uh, Joan Crock Center, we're talking about around the areas, businesses uh, and ventures that the city might want to help in a, take advantage of the Joan Crock Center coming into place. It's something that probably needs to be looked at now. Um, make sure that there's adequate funding for youth projects uh, in parks, um, there's different parks that are uh, being looked at and negotiated with uh, El Cajon and funding issues and stuff and making sure that that gets taken care of it properly. Um, and then the revitalization of El Cajon Boulevard and University with the funding that's been put in place to make sure that that is stepped up and moves along without anybody dragging their feet on that. Uh, we had four priorities. Number one was the Civic Center and that encompasses a post office, fire station, city hall, uh, senior center, and community center. Uh, number two would be to read the uh, 1999 target uh, list for uh, the summit and continue working on those. Number three would be uh, public incentives for private improvement. And number four would be form neighborhood code compliance committees. Um, it's very interesting how similar themes emerge, and we have something that's not new, and that is uh, we'd like to see uh, the beautification of University and El Cajon Boulevard, revitalization of that, uh, cleanup of rundown neighborhoods, uh, increase availability of uh, outdoor sports and facilities like par or parks, those kind of places. So those are ours. We will also want to see uh, the utilities undergrounded on University Avenue and beautification in general. Uh, we'd like to see more parks in West La Mesa. We think they need those, and one of the ideas we came up with were some pocket parks, just little mini parks. And also, we would like to establish a community day. We think that would, uh, would go over really well. It would be a multi-generational activity, and we could possibly expand the Flag Day parade to an all-day activity so Grandma and Grandpa could boogie at night out there after the Flag Day. Okay? First thing we want to do is make sure we partner with the uh, trolley system as it comes to the area. We want to avoid mistakes that uh, may occur now and be co very, very costly in the future. So I want them to pay close attention to maximizing our position there. We also want them to be sure to create an economic strategy so that we will have a future that's uh, available to us and we'll have the finances to do it with. And last but not least, uh, create and uh, revitalize the El Cajon and University both. It's, it'll be a major asset to our community. We absolutely want to capitalize on the Croc Center. We know the Croc Center is going forward, but we want the City Council to make sure La Mesa gets the most out of it for its residents. Um, uh, neighborhood improvements and revitalization to include uh, better and more bike trails, um, get those cars off the roads, bike to work. Um, Maintain fiscal stability, which um, one method of doing that is to impact state and lover, local government finance uh, charges. Um, we're real big on the um, spay and neuter policies. And uh, 
business friendly environment. Um, we want to impact uh, the community with vital businesses that we can shop at, spend our money at, and keep the money here in La Mesa. So the top three goals for Table 8 were to complete the beautification of Elkhorn Boulevard and University Avenue, establish West End redevelopment areas, and hire an additional code compliance officer specifically to work in the West End of town. And then as another goal, we had to expand and improve West End parks. I'm the spokesperson for Table 7. The thing that we want to see is expand senior facilities and their programs and market them better, get more state and federal dollars to come back to the cities so we can provide better city services, state and federal monies, because they're just sitting on a number of our dollars that are back there in Washington. Get all agencies together in a collaborative fashion so we can get all the unused resources that we have at that school level, at the city level, at the state level, at any level, get them all together so we can go ahead and provide better uh, facilities and, and for, the, for the community. During the closing session, City Manager Dave Ware explained that all West La Mesa Summit participants would receive a summary of the ideas and comments generated that day in the mail. Then Mayor Madrid and members of the City Council made a few closing remarks, stressing the importance of community involvement by citizens and thanking everyone for their participation. It's one of the first times I've been satisfied with the taxes I've paid. I really saw some results for what I've invested. Uh, I th think our city officials uh, quite frankly, earn a little more money than uh, I paid him this year. I think he had a very good diversity as far as the, the type of people that came to the summit meeting. And this is my second one. I was here last year. And I think whenever you bring a good, interested group of people who really care about their community, you're going to get some great ideas. Even though a lot of this has to do with uh, you know, commercial and retail areas, um, I tried to, and, and it was very receptive by the people at my table, that. Uh, there's a, a real importance for keeping and retaining and expanding the possibility of people working here, jobs, and good jobs. I, I think it was uh, visionary. We had a lot of great ideas, a lot of, um, well, a lot of things that I hadn't considered personally that go into uh, coming up with a game plan for the future. And uh, I'm curious to see how it pans out. The school is certainly part of the community, uh, you know, when you talk to people about what makes strong communities and what they value in a community, uh, schools are, are usually pretty high on the list. This is an investment um, in the future of where the city is going to be going. We had a total of 60 committed residents from the community who care about their community, who came out here and shared their ideas and their thoughts, who um, challenged us to do a better job, and that's exactly what we need. It's pretty evident that the people who have come uh, are pretty well satisfied. I think they feel it's a very productive use of their time. They got a chance to give their input and to get some feedback from uh, experts within the city.